Tilly's gonna test out these microphones for us. <laughs> She's like, I wanna be in every video now. Every That's video. It. That's it. I'm bringing you the clicks. <laughs> yeah. These days, it seems like everybody's doing something on YouTube, isn't it? That's true. And if you are true professional, then you probably have a set of very expensive Sennheiser mics. But for most of us, it's normally a choice of two, either Rode Go Pro mics uh, or DJI mics, which came out quite recently. Now, there's a lot of cheap options coming to the market at the moment. The one we're going to review today is produced by my owner, and it's called WMA20 mic. Let's have a look at it and decide if it's actually as good as Rode mics or not. So we've been sent the single mic version. There is a dual mic version as well as a bunch of others now. Uh, apparently this was actually crowdfunded and... Was... Well, since they sent it to us, it's been funded successfully. That's right. Now this option with the single microphone and the receiver comes with a connection for a phone. So if you want to record on your mobile, then you can do that. It also comes with a connection for a camera, but is apparently compatible across about 16 different devices. So you can record to multiple different things. It also comes with its own little lav mic and obviously the charging cables, they charge via USB-C and a little dead kitten as yeah. well. No kittens were harmed in this video. No. So shall we connect it up and see how it sounds in comparison to our lovely road yeah. mics that we normally use? Do some mic check. Let's do that. Let's do that. Mic check, one, two, one, two. There's a couple of things that might be worth noting. For example, the Moona mics don't appear to have any internal recording capabilities, at least not the model that we've been sent. Also, you can't record on different audio channels, um, but it is a 2. gigahertz output and it has a battery life of about six hours. So that's a fairly decent amount of time, good lengthy recording. We're gonna do some tests outside and see what the sound is like. Mm -hmm. Very mic'd up now, as you can see. All right, let's do some distance test with this mic. A part of the distance, we're also gonna check if I turn my back, the sound cuts off or not. With all those mics, this is a very common problem. So I'm gonna walk down the stairs. I'm turning my I'm turning my back. Yeah, back. And I'm back. And I'm back. So I'm keep going, I'm keep going. Turn to the camera again, and here we are, here we go. Okay, I'm walking back. Let's see, it's about 20 meters here, maybe about 25. Let's see, the audio is still there, Becky is saying yes, and I'm gonna... Okay, so here's the common thing. So advertised range is definitely not a good range, but at the same time, how often you're gonna use your mic quite far away and how often you're gonna turn away from the camera. So for general TikTok, YouTube, all the reels and shots productions, that's probably quite useful. But of course, if you're playing shoot on a football field and look away, then it's not gonna work for you. I've now plugged in the supplied mic. So that's connected to up here. Just to see if it improves the sound or changes the sound at all. From the reviews that I looked at, it said that it was okay with the lav mic. So let's see how it sounds in comparison to using it without it. All right, what's our conclusion? Our conclusion is that you do have to think about what your use case is. If you are on a particular budget, if you're going to be doing video work in a fairly enclosed space or even at long distance, but you're always going to be facing the camera, then the sound quality is going to be perfectly adequate for you to get started with. Obviously, if you need multiple audio channels, or if you need internal recording as a backup to your camera recording, which is something we use quite a lot, uh, then this isn't going to do that. There may be other Moono products that allow you to do that, but this one in particular doesn't. But as with all things, you've just got to look at what you need to use them for, not necessarily what we're going to use them for. Exactly. So if you're a young influencer, aka blogger, or whatever you're going to call it, shooting for TikTok, Facebook, Reels, Shorts, you name it, this is okay because you're going to be right in front of the camera, you're going to talk to it, it's going to give you a better audio quality than an internal mic of your mobile phone or a camera. But for something more advanced, if you need a backup, as you say, backup is important for the situation when I was walking down the stairs and there was a cutoff, if you would have a backup, you could still place this audio for the video and have that saved. So 
Think about it, what you need on the budget for basic applications that's still better than your internal stuff for something a bit more advanced and professional, do spend a little bit more. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. If you found this video super useful, there's super thanks button as well. Yes, and if you found it useful and you'd like to see other review videos similar to this, drop us a comment. We will see if we can get some more stuff to show you. Ta-da! So Tilly, tell me, what do you think? Mm? Does it pass your test? Do you approve? I like dead kittens. <laughs> ah, this is the bit you're interested in. This bit here? Yes, what is that? That's the stuff. That's the stuff, don't eat it.